We've been waiting for this, guys. These are the AirPods Pro 2, and this is the latest iteration of the AirPods Pro. Now, when you look at that compared to the AirPods Pro, they look rather similar, but I'm here to tell you which is better if you should upgrade. Let's start off with the hardware. At first glance, they look similar. They both have lightning ports, Apple, USB-C would have been great, but there are some major differences. First off, you do have speakers at the bottom of the AirPods Pro 2 uh, case that allows you to use your Find My app. So when you're looking for AirPods Pro 2, if they're missing, you can actually have an audio cue to locate it. Something like this, sounds pretty nice. Now, after that, you also have wireless charging with MagSafe. So it supports MagSafe charging, which is cool. And the battery life has big differences. So the original AirPods Pro, 24 hours. That's what you got for battery life with the case. The AirPods Pro 2, you're getting 30 hours and six hours on the AirPods Pro 2 themselves with ANC on, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, something Apple didn't mention is that you're also gonna be getting 36 hours with the case with ANC off. Now, that is truly impressive, and that's something that I, I like with the AirPods Pro 2. Now, when you're looking at the AirPods uh, Pro 2 buds themselves, compared to the uh, AirPods Pro, they look similar. They have the same look, the height, the stem, everything is exactly the same in terms of design. But a couple of things are different. You now have a microphone at the very top of the AirPods Pro 2 for better active noise cancellation and also better microphones in the stem so that I can pick up your calls more effectively, which is nice. Plus, you also have volume controls now on your AirPods Pro 2. Uh, that wasn't there before, so I'm glad they added that in there. Now, the biggest thing for me with the design here is actually the tips, the air tips. On my original AirPods Pro, I use Comply Foam because that's the only thing that actually fit in my ears properly, and I couldn't use any of the tips that Apple provided. This year, I'm using the medium tips that came with it, and I haven't had needed to change anything. So I believe Apple has done a better job here with the air tips on the AirPods Pro 2. Plus, they do provide you uh, with a plethora of tips, including an extra small, so you can actually fit in your ears more properly. Now let's go to the things that we care about, you know, connectivity, uh, active noise cancellation, all that fun stuff. Just like your AirPods Pro, the AirPods Pro 2 connect to all your Apple devices, a very seamless process. We know how this is, I don't have to explain it, it just works pretty well. But the H2 chip on the AirPods Pro 2 do a little bit more when it comes to the other aspects, like active noise cancellation. Now Apple says that this should be 2X, and I was like, what do you mean by 2X improvement over the AirPods Pro? What that means is that, honestly, you can hear the difference between the AirPods Pro and the AirPods Pro 2 when it comes to active noise cancellation. It blocks out so much more noise. It was truly impressive. I didn't expect it to move that far the needle, but it did. So while I was flying back from San Francisco, I had less of the plane. I was able to also take train rides in the city and you know, it was fine. Like couldn't hear all that crazy noise. I like that and I think that's a very good thing. The other aspect also is the transparency mode. Transparency mode is greatly improved on the AirPods Pro 2. Simply put, it doesn't feel robotic at all. It feels very natural. Now, the AirPods Pro were close to that. This feels like you're having a direct conversation with someone with nothing in your ears. Now, you can feel the weight of your AirPods Pro 2, but it, it just works. That's just how I'm gonna put it. They do have something called adaptive transparency, which basically equalizes and blocks up some of the noise that you hear, but also letting in the vocals. I didn't notice it to work as adeptly as Apple stated, but it still worked well. It's something that just works on its own. You can toggle it on and off within, within of course, the app itself or within your iPhone directly. Now, Coming to the audio part of things, how well do they sound? What's the audio quality? This thing's impressive. Impressive in the fact that, first of all, there's bass. There's solid bass, it is clean, it's crisp, it is clear, and I like the fact that it doesn't overshadow. So that is a huge improvement from the AirPods Pro to the AirPods Pro 2. You also have improved highs on the AirPods Pro 2, so much better, much cleaner. So you listen to vocals like Michael Jackson, you just, those vocals come up pretty clear on the very top. Uh, which is nice. They're not as muddled as they were before. Now the mids for me though, that's where there's not a, lo a lot of great expansion. The mids between the AirPods Pro and the AirPods Pro 2 sound really similar, 
but the overall package definitely sound better. Now, Apple has adaptive EQs, something I don't like because sometimes it changes the way uh, the sound, the music sounds to me, but I feel it's just more improved here on this device. Now, when it comes to the microphone, you can expect Apple has one of the best microphones in the market for conversations. And I had no issues. My calls were great. I didn't tell people what I was using because, you know, I couldn't tell them, but it sounded really good. People knew it was clear and crisp. I like that with the microphone and it stayed the same. Now, when you look at the overall package for what Apple has brought with the AirPods Pro 2, it is truly impressive. The things they stated they actually done. Now, some of us may be bummed out they haven't changed the design on the case, but again, that continuity is also very, very welcome. Now, they do have sort of like an application within your iPhone where you can go in and you can manually change things like your noise cancellation, the transparency. You can also go into each um, uh, um, AirPod there to actually change things there. You can do your ear fit. You can toggle adaptive transparency. But the big new thing here is spa uh, personalized spatial audio where you can customize spatial audio to fit you. There's a quick test that allows you to just pan left or right with each ear to map that out and you're done. And once you do that, you've got more personalized spatial audio. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of spatial audio, but I actually found personalized spatial audio to be a huge improvement from this, the general spatial audio. So I like that that's there. And the cool thing is that also transfers from each app, from one iPhone to the other. So once you switch from say, your previous iPhone to a new one, of course, those settings will actually transfer to. Again, the functionality with the H2 chip really comes through pretty clearly. So overall, I would say this, look, the AirPods Pro 2 are just much better. They're much better than the AirPods Pro. And if you're looking to pick up AirPods, these are the ones to pick up. The AirPods Pro 2 definitely hit the mark, especially with comfort, fit, and also audio quality. Now, some of you are wondering, how do they fare with the rest of the buds on the market? Are they the best? Well, find out in my next video where I compare them to the Pixel Buds Pro, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, the Sony Link Buds S, as well as the Sony WF-1000 Mark IVs. So, till next time guys, I'll see you in that video.